If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else online or offline grind, and make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Jaden Ivy. I just finished EVOing this card on my own account. Took about an hour and a half, and while I was at it, I made a good chunk on Mark Williams and Ochai Abaji as well. As y'all can see, I can finish Ochai's right now and get him to Amethyst, and then Jaden can be EVO to Diamond. So, was able to work on all these EVOs at the same time. Already have the other two at Amethyst and have gotten Jaden Ivy to Diamond. So, really excited to use this Jaden Ivy card because I think he's going to be really, really good. Probably the best auctionable point guard for his valuable for his value in the game i don't expect him to be on the level of a donovan mitchell or even a derrick rose uh, but i think he's going to be on a similar level to a guy like steph curry and honestly a very good card especially since he's not going to be crazy expensive last week these diamonds were going for thirty thousand mt or so and i think this jade knife is going to be in that same thirty thousand mt price point which is honestly very affordable and he looks like a very good card so before we hop onto the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me push towards the seven thousand subscriber mark on the channel upload every single day we're less than 50 subs away and i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it and see what Jaden is looking like so Jaden ivy six foot four at the shooting guard or point guard position definitely recommend running at pg six four at pg is really good size as well 91 driving layup 92 close shot and 84 mid-range only a 77 three-pointer i don't think that's an issue 77 is more than enough to green consistently when you're open 85 driving dunk 92 ball handle decent defender not amazing he's okay on the perimeter not going to do much on the interior but 92 speed to ball excel is very good and an 83 lateral quickness is pretty darn good as well so overall pretty well rounded statistically two hops include fast switch and slithery uh 16 golds include acrobat aerial wizard fear, fearless finisher giant slayer uh limitless takeoff pro touch mini magician slippery off ball space creator volume shooter bailout break starter floor general needle threader quick first step and pogo stick also silver posterizer comeback kid green machine ankle breaker clamp breaker unpluckable ankle braces chase down artist pick dodger bronze killer combos and workhorse one thing I just realized, I don't think he has handles for days. And because he's an Evo card, you can't add handles for days to him. So that actually is going to be an issue. But I'm interested to see how this card compares to guys like Steph and Marcus Smart. So let's hop into freestyle and check out his animations. Checking out Jaden Ivey here in freestyle. Let's see how he moves. So size up is honestly quite good. And I like his dribble style as well. So that is the first thing I will say. Dribble style, he seems to burst quite well out of it. And I like his size up a lot. I feel like athletically, he's going to be really, really good as well. He's going to be in a great slasher. Obviously, at 6'4", he has great size at the point guard position, which I think is a big deal for sure. Uh, and I just think he's going to be a really, really good card at that point guard position. Release also is pretty good on this card. I like the release. It's pretty smooth. It's consistent. And it's easy to grain. It's also pretty quick, which is nice uh, as I smoke two free throws two releases in a row but he's also got the kobe escape which is one of the best size of escapes in the game so overall sigs wise he's looking pretty good can i please green what the heck i was green at every single shot with him and off when i was uh ev eviling him earlier there we go we green a couple in a row release is pretty good though i like the release i like the slashing uh, i like the sigs behind the back is the damian lillard behind the back as well which is one of the better behind the backs in the game so he's got a good behind the back he's got a good size up he's got a good size of escape he's an elite slasher and he's got really really good size with a good jump shot as well Jay Nive is going to be a really, really good card in my team. I'm excited to use him offensively. Wish he had handles for days. That's my one complaint with the card, to be completely honest, is them not having handles for days. But as y'all can see, I'm graining pretty consistently with the release now. It's pretty knocked down, even with a 77 three-pointer. So definitely think Jay Nive is going to be a really, really good card. Let's hop into a clutch time game and let's see what he can do. Our opponent squad, Sapphire Jaw, Amethyst Fred Jones, a few Sapphires, and a Ruby Jimmy Butler as well. This team is not that great. Definitely a pretty favorable matchup for us. Hopefully, we can get Jaden Ivey going in this game and uh, show off with him because I think he's a really, really solid card. And I think he's going to be one of those best budget point guards right there with a guy like Marcus Smart. So let's see if we can get going with him on the first possession of the game. We're going to get a decent look. I thought I was going to get a look for three there. It's so tough to create three point opportunities in this game at times. But Jaden Ivey getting to the rim, he gets blocked. Okay, well, let's just go up. Like, oh my gosh, terrible possession. Thankfully, we do get the offensive board, so at least that resets the shot clock. But uh, that was not a good offensive possession. Going to the rim here, though. Jay Nivey, there we go. Getting to the rim, throwing down a dunk. Started off sloppy, but we got two points at them regardless, so we'll take it. Good bump, Vince. Look at Vince on the defensive end of the court getting a nice little bump, and I throw it back court. I thought he was going to be in the front court. He was in the back court. That's tough. We'll live with it, though. It is what it is. Good defense by Vince. Let's see what we can get out of Jaden on the defensive end of the court. Interested to see how he guards a guy like Ja. He's missing a few defensive badges. Doesn't really have clamps or anything like that. So that's a little annoying. But at 6'4, he's got good size, which is nice. Uh, matches up pretty well against basically any point guard in the game size wise, which is pretty valuable. And that's good defense by Iggy. It's a foul, but he's bumping, playing pretty good defense. Let's get the ball to Ja, though. Come on. Pass the ball to your point guard. I'm going to leave him open. Pass the ball to your point guard. He's 
passing it to not the point guard. Come on, bro. There we go. Let's see what Jaden can do. Good defense, Jaden. Cutting off, cutting off that drive beautifully. Oh my gosh, look at him. He is kind of sitting on the perimeter. That is great defense. Beautiful stuff. Great defensive possession. And that's a 30% that goes in. I... I don't know about that. Okay, well, let's get back on the offensive end. Let's see what we can get going on the offensive end. Stopping, popping, Jay Ivy for three. I released that way too early. I felt that. That's just me, bro. I'm struggling right now. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Good okay. steal, Jay Ivy. Look at him playing the lane by himself. Love that. Attacking the rim, Jay Ivy spinning. I did not need to spin there, and I got lucky. I, he goaltended that. That was going to be a dunk if I didn't spin. I don't know why I spun there. That was a bad decision, but luckily, it does turn into a bucket regardless. So let's we'll take it. Jaden making a play. The CPU actually getting himself a steal and then getting a bucket. So that is definitely nice to see. We're struggling just a little bit right now, but we're getting it going. Good block, Paulo Boncaro. We're playing hella defense right now. Offensively, we're struggling a little bit, but defensively, we are definitely not struggling at all. Hit it into Blake. That should be an easy dunk or a layup, and I get punched. Oh, my gosh. What is going on on the offensive end of the court? We just can't get anything going. But defensively, my CPUs keep making plays. Throw it over to Jay Ivey in transition, going up and throwing it down. We will take that dunk, get into the rim. Like seeing that. Defensively, we're hooping. It's not even really me. My CPUs are making plays, which is nice, uh, but offensively, we're struggling just a little bit. Get through. Good D. Watch the back door. Watch the back door. Play that. Good D. Watch the back door. Good defense. Yes. Look at Iggy beating Jamie Butler up. He like didn't even get a shot off. My opponent is so boxed right now. That is great defense. But let's get the offense going again. Why are you pausing me? Just you probably should have tried to get a shot up. You stood there the whole possession, and Andre Iguodala didn't watch it. Attacking the rim though. Jade Ivy all the way. If we're gonna to get a free dunk, we're gonna take another free dunk. Get into the rim again. He's got eight points. Good D, Jaden. Look at him playing defense. I'm liking this card a lot on the defensive end of the court. Leaking out in transition as well. We're going to stop on the break. I wanted to shoot a three there, but I don't, I'm not going to have the space anymore. Attacking through, though, Jaden. Hit it to the corner. Good catch by Paulo Boncaro, and Paulo misses the layup. That's on me. I got to green that. Good pass by Jaden, though, creating an open shot for his teammate, even though he didn't knock it down. Still able to score on that possession as well, which is nice. Defensively, he's impressed me. I'll say that. I like what I've seen out of him defensively. And as a slasher, would like to get him a three-point opportunity, but it is so tough to get three-point opportunities online when you're trying to three it's just three hunting is borderline impossible right now with the way the game is unfortunately but uh leaking out blake throw it over to Jaden. Jaden, see if you can get the shot right here we got a good look Jaden ivy four three i smoke goodness gracious i am not good at this game sometimes i don't know good defense though i mean we're playing fine we're still up 10 to 4 which is good and he's got eight points should have an assist as well but i missed with paulo i just got a green a couple shots I kind of feel bad for my opponent. He, he just can't score the ball. He is so boxed right now. Jaden Ivey attacking all the way. Again, Jaden Ivey to the rim. Throws down another two-handed jam. He doesn't have super fancy dunk animations, but you don't really need him. He's doing a great job of getting to the rim, throwing down his dunks. And, uh, I mean, blocks aren't nearly as prevalent of a thing this year, but I'll take the safe dunks. It doesn't bother me if he's going to do those safe dunks because those are going to be basically impossible to block, especially with how hard blocking shots is this year. And defensively, we have him in a cage. Offensively, haven't been amazing this game, but defensively, it has been freaking awesome. Jaden Ivey, pull up mid-range. Can I please green a shot? I didn't know what his moving was. I haven't shot him moving with him yet, so that's that's my excuse, I guess. But I have missed so many shots. At least he's showing off as a slasher and as a defender because right now, offensively, we are struggling, at least as a shooter. But good defense or good play again. We're out in transition, and this game is basically over. A solid performance all the way around. Unfortunately, not really able to get the three-point opportunities that I wanted, and the one good look that we got, I absolutely smoked because I... I don't know. I suck, but we'll take it regardless. He's going to finish the game with like 10 points unless we get another bucket on this last possession. Yet another great defensive possession. Jaden Ivey with another heavy contest. You love to see it. Stop and Jaden Ivey for three. Can we close it out with a three? We're going to close it out with a three. That's what I wanted to see. I'm telling y'all, y'all get the space with him. He is going to be a knockdown shooter as well. And I'm glad I was able to showcase his shooting ability a little bit in this Denied. game as well. Yet another block. What an impressive performance defensively by the team. Jaden Ivey is going to finish the game with 13 points and a steal. Six of 11, one of three from three. Super solid all around performance. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's view the card. All right, in conclusion, I like Jaden Ivey a lot. I think he's a really good budget point guard on the level of guys like Steph Curry and Marcus Smart, even probably close to the level of Ja Morant, even though I would say Ja is probably better. Uh, not going to be on the level of a D. Rose, a Donovan Mitchell, one of those types of guys, the top point guards in the game. But I do think he's going to be a very, very solid card. And he's going to be affordable as well, which is nice. Not entirely sure how much these cards are going to go for, because in all honesty, there's probably not very many, if any. Evoed, Jaden Ivey's on the auction house right now. But I mean, you're seeing right now the Sapphire's in the 15, 20, KMT range or so probably, which means in all likelihood, Jaden Ivey is probably going to be somewhere when he's Evo. And I would think he's probably going to be somewhere in the 30,000 MT range, just like, um, just like, I guess, 
the all shades of cards were last week too doesn't look like there's any evo versions of him on the auction house right now at least in diamond uh, or even in amethyst so i might even sell my jade and i because i think i might have the first one up on the auction house that's evo but uh i do think this card is very solid definitely think he's got a spot in a lot of people's teams especially if you're looking for a budget pg and should be a pretty affordable over the next couple days as more and more people evo him so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace